Imagine riding a Ferris wheel for 15 years straight. We didn't know what was going on. It rolls on and on with no destination. A lot of people don't understand. From 2005 to 2020, that was life for Pete and Marissa Varga. My former doctor, it was just, okay, we're going to put you on medicine and just adjust medicine, adjust medicine, and just take a lot of tests. And if it doesn't work, oh, we'll put you on a new medicine. It was a life of runarounds and never ending circles. Yeah. Watching your loved one have a tonic clonic seizure, you know, sort of the type of seizures you see in the movies, it's, it's really scary. Pete had his first seizure in 2005, and as fate would have it, it wasn't his last. It really hasn't made sense until I actually came here. <laughs> a whopping 15 years later at the Beaumont Adult Comprehensive Epilepsy Clinic in Royal Oak. It's where Pete learned his medication wasn't working, meaning it was time for doctors to get to work. With a robotic arm, uh, Dr. Stout, the neurosurgeon, was able to drill 18 holes in Pete's head, place the electrodes inside his brain with assistance from the robotic arm, and Pete sat here for 14 days so they could record all of the seizures he would have in that time. All 115 of them. This painted a better picture on where to best implant some incredible technology. Neuropace or responsive neurostimulation is like having a permanent EEG inside your brain. So it's constantly recording brain waves. We program it to recognize the abnormal brain waves, and then from those abnormal brain waves, we uh, send little electrical treatments, little electrical shocks to stop the seizure from either starting or spreading. This small device giving doctors at Corwell Health, formerly known as Beaumont, the data they needed to remove three parts of the left side of Pete's brain. It's just been so helpful. Following surgery, Pete has some memory and language processing issues, but hasn't had a single seizure in three months. It's giving Pete and Dr. Andy Zilgit hope for the future. There's about 4,000 people in the country with NeuroPACE, and it's constantly recording abnormal and normal brainwave data. So what you're able to do with those 4,000 people is start to put together big data. And once you start to put together this big data and look at patterns, you see that seizures might not be as random as we once thought. The never-ending journey finally reaches a destination. We are so happy. One with answers, confidence, and trust. In Royal Oak, Erica Francis, Fox 2 News. Wow, good for him. That was Erica Francis reporting. One out of 26 people will develop epilepsy during their lifetime. At the first sign of a seizure, it is really important to talk to your primary care physician and have an evaluation by a neurologist.